Kai Juice, what's up? It's your boy Kai Chikong, aka 2K, emerging from the depths of sweet solitude to bring you some more Sigma soul sustenance. All right, guys, today I'm going to be answering a question by a, a long time brother named Walu. Walu, this video is for you. He's been a loyal subscriber since way back when, since I was in the hundreds, still a baby. Kai Chikong was still. Still a baby. Anyway, uh, Walu asked me um, to make a video on how to bounce back from failure. And I thought that this was very applicable for many of you out there because we as humans, we are not perfect. We go through failure again and again and again. And I think I have to tell you this is not everyone goes through the same number of failures. Of course, some people go through more failures than the others. And it comes down to two reasons. Why you go that through failure? One is because you try out more things. You actually go out and get yourself out there. You have the balls to reach for your goals or to try out new things, to take on new challenges. And the thing is, you cannot really level up in life without having failed. It's like in a video game. When you played Super Mario when you were younger, those freaking levels, at least every single level, you died one time. And of course, there are people who are more skilled, naturally skilled than others. And it's natural. But every single person, you have to find your own realm of power, so to speak. You have to understand yourself because you may suck at one thing, but may be very professional, may be very good at another thing. One person may be good at sports. Another person may be, book, may be good at theory or good at maths, good at computers, good at uh, thinking logically, good at thinking out of the box even, good at being spiritual, good at leading others, good at analyzing things like, um, like detectives or sort of that. But you just have to find your own realm because some people may be good at Super Mario, like that spatial recognition, knowing timing and everything. And other people may suck at Super Mario, but may be good at another game. So you have to understand that failure does not necessarily mean that you suck. Failure means that you are trying. And if you fail, guys, you have to understand that it reminds me of this thing by Teddy Roosevelt, if I'm not wrong. He said that the glory is for the guy in the man, uh, for the man in the arena, the gladiator, so to speak. Everyone points their fingers and laughs at how the man in the, how the gladiator did it wrong, how he swung the sword too early, how he went for the guy on the right instead of the guy on the left who was weaker. But the thing is, guys, People who point out your weaknesses, what are they doing? Are they doing anything incredible with their lives? No. Most probably the reason why they have the time to talk about you, to talk behind your back, to actually analyze the things that you're doing is because they don't have anything else to do. They're not doing anything at the moment. The true action takers in this world don't have any time to actually look at what other people are doing, except if they have like a role model that they want to follow. So they actually follow, okay, that's what he did. That's what he did. That's what he did. And then they actually follow that person. They look up to people. That's all that that's when you like when you compare yourself to someone, but for inspirational purposes, not for the pu purpose of bringing them down. Because once you jump from looking at someone as an inspiration to actually trying to bring them down, that moment of trying that act of trying means that you're trying that you're not acting on your purpose, not acting on your dreams. So don't waste your time on people who do that and don't waste your time on doing that yourself. What the fuck is it? It's just your car, anyway. So that's what you have to understand, guys. Be the man in the arena. The man in the arena will get bloodied, will get battle scars, will get, will fail, will swing his sword too early, will, will get defeated, but he is the man competing. Who cares what the spectators say? The spectators are just spectators. They're not living to the same glory. There is an advantage of being under the spotlight, which is that you get the fame, you get the glory, you get the experience. And there's also a disadvantage of being under the spotlight, which is you do suffer from criticism and the judgment of others. But you have to understand that what do you want? The advantages or the disadvantages? If you're too scared of the disadvantages, with the fear of being judged, uh, laziness to have to train yourself and all of that, to go after your goals, 
It is better to be a spectator, my friend. Just pay for the the, t the seat, the ticket for the seat, and pay for the popcorn. That's it. Just live life as a spectator. But that's not what you were supposed to live for, guys. You did not race the fastest in your life when you were a sperm. You didn't race like this. Like your tail was wagging, you didn't race so fast in your life as a sperm just to end up a spectator, just to end up a delta male, the guy who sleeps, the guy who's a cog in the machine, so to speak. You have to take action in your life and you have to understand that. So the first reason, <laughs> let me go back, Woo rewind all the way back. First reason why you're failing in life is because you're trying. So that's good. Take ownership of that. Failure is a mark of the journey. Battle scars. Why are people so proud of battle scars? It's because it shows that you tried. Girls like men, at least most of the girls that I know. I talk to some other girls, they don't, they like the smooth and rich and uh, fi uh, guys with finesse. But then uh, most of the girls that I speak to, they like battle scars. They always ask me, what is this? Or what is it? What are some, I have scars like on the, the, they always ask me, what is that? What is this? Where did you get that? They want the story. And if you live your life without having any battle scars, it means they didn't try anything. You didn't actually go out there. You didn't have fun. Because when you even even when you have fun, you get hurt. You see, the purpose the purpose was to have fun. There was not any big goals. It's just your purpose was to have fun. And yet you still have battle scars. You still get hurt. You fail on having fun. So if you try something, if you go after a goal, whether that be trying your own hustle, side hustle, writing your own book, uh, even getting a promotion or getting the job, you will fail. Even going through school, the tests, you will fail. But that is a natural part of the journey. It means that you're trying. And the number two reason why people fail a lot is because they're stupid, stupid as fuck. But let's put that out of the equation already because most of the people here on the channel here you fail because you're trying and if you are failing because you're stupid as fuck then it goes back to what i said guys you have to understand your realm of power where are you good at because i don't i don't believe that anyone was born and i don't believe that anyone survives until 20 or 20 plus years old Having not been good at anything, you have to be good at something, at least one thing. And the thing is, you will fail if you keep trying to compete on what other people are strong at. Like when you go to school, if you compete, if you're not, if you're like good at theory and you compete in, in football, the jocks will be stronger. Of course, that's their strength. But when they go to your realm, of competition, your battlefield, they will fail like muffins. Something that you understand, if you're scared of failure, this is something that you, as sigmas, as alphas, those of the dominant domain, dominant domain, the dominant uh, archetypes, failure is nothing to us. Especially for sigmas. Why? Because failure is, you have to look at it from a point of view. It comes with a perspective. We, when we disband from the hierarchy and people look at us, a couple of, of, a couple of us sigmas do look like failures to society. People think, oh, he's not conforming. Oh, he does not follow the status quo. Look at this goon. He is a failure. And so by right of being a sigma, some people think you look like a failure, but it does that is that what uh, you think you look like? No. So what failure is to one person may not be a failure to you. You have to understand as a sigma that many people look at you and think that you are a failure already in some things that you do. So understand that <laughs> you're a living failure, you're a walking failure. And so you're already a failure. Why, why do you have to even... Um, bother with the rest of the failures <laughs> and how do you bounce back man we are all human we are not perfect bounce back like a ball as soon as you fall down you jump back up and of course you're never gonna jump back up to the exact exact height that you were originally you're gonna be a little bit lower but at least you jump back higher but of course 
as I said, we are human, emotions get to us in the moment. It's easy to think about it theoretically, but in the moment when you do fail, it sucks, it hurts. But as long as you bounce back like a ball, even if you don't get to the same height, as long as you did jump up, that is already a success. Because remember, the winners in the world are those who bounce back one more time, one time more than they fell. So if you lose eight times, you get back up nine. And probably if, it, if you fall 72 times, maybe that 73rd getting back up is going to be when you break through into success, when you find out that missing thing that you were missing, that solution to the problem that you had. That's why it's good to get out into nature, good to do your own thing, good to disconnect from society for a while, because you, the universe lives in all of us. We are just like little pieces of the universe looking at the universe itself. It's like we're looking into a mirror. We are just a manifestation of the universe in our own, in its own way. We glorify the universe in its own unique peace. And so when you do disband from the hierarchy, everything in the universe is in you. The answers are already in you. The way that you're supposed to live is in you. Your destiny is in you. The answers are in you. So when you do disband from the hierarchy and you think about life, just what, walk in the wilderness, no music, go out into the city, no music, sit in a cafe, get out and do things that are new. Because if you do things that are new, you are, your mind gets stimulated in a different way. And somehow, because probably your mind is stimulated in a different way, that could, have get, could be the stimulus to actually realize the, the thing that you're missing. So that's it, guys. I don't want to give you any specific knowledge, I just want to give you the background mindset that you should take with you in life. Two things you have to walk into life with. Failure is inevitable, you're going to fail no matter what. So, fail happy, fail with a smile on your face because you know that you are on your purpose. But of course, if you fail too much times, because like if in Super Mario you're failing in that first jump, or you're failing in that first Goomba because you're walking right straight into it, you got to try different things instead of walking straight into the Goomba, jump on the Goomba and hit it. So you, you always try different things, do what works and then change what doesn't work. And that's it, guys. And remember, Sigmas, for other people, failure is perspective. Failure is either you look at it as failure is damn it, failure, or you're like, yes, now I learned one way that does not work, which is a success. So it's the way that you will look at failure. And remember, for many people in, in society, we Sigmas, we look like walking failures already. So, own it. And that's all I have to say, guys. This is Kaiju Kong signing off. Do subscribe, like, and comment. Take care and stay strong.